Okay, the calendar here in the US says it's November, and the day this video comes out will be Thanksgiving Day. And I realized that a lot of you probably won't watch this video on Thanksgiving because you're too busy cooking a turkey or hanging out with family or watching football. But listen, to those of you that are watching today, I wanna to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And since you read the title of this video and saw the thumbnail, you might be wondering what the heck is going on. So today, I wanna to talk a little bit about my current situation. Now, as you might imagine, with all major life updates, it's a very long story. So I'll just try to hit the main bullet points then talk a little more in depth about all of this in some upcoming videos. But essentially, the situation is my girlfriend and I, who I've been living with, we mutually decided to break things off. So I moved out into a new place by myself. Now, let me be perfectly clear because I'm not looking for any sympathy. And that's never why I make these personal videos. I, I guess I'm making this video because quite frankly, I can't help myself. So if you've been around for a while, you know that I tend to wear my heart on my sleeve and I let you into my personal life, maybe more than I should, but again, I, I kinda can't help it. If something's going on that impacts my life, chances are that some of you might be going through something very similar. So why not talk about it? And there's no reason why I shouldn't be open and honest with what's happening in my life. I mean, I don't share everything, of course, but something like this is a major life change for me and in some ways, talking to you about it is kind of a form of some therapy for me. And again, I don't want you to feel sorry for me because a large part of me is kind of excited for this new chapter. I'm nervous about a few things, but I'm also looking forward to the opportunity to learn more about myself. It's been a very long time since I've lived completely alone and in the short time that I've been in this new place that I'm renting for the next year, it's been kind of interesting and I'm 100% responsible for everything. Like I don't have anyone to help with bills or groceries or cooking meals. And that's actually a pretty big change for me, especially the cooking part. So one of the current challenges for me right now is to furnish this place like you've probably seen on my Instagram account. Now it's gonna be an ongoing process because it's pretty empty in here, but it's also an opportunity to make it all my own. My girlfriend has most all the big ticket items like the bed, the dressers and the TVs and stuff. So one by one, I'll be adding things to this place to make it feel a little more comfortable. But here's where the real conversation starts. I'm alone for the first time in many, many years and it's different. So after I got out of school, I moved in with my cousin. Then I got an apartment with a coworker. Then I moved in with my girlfriend who became my wife and we bought a few houses and moved around. After my divorce, I moved to California and moved in with my current former girlfriend that I just mentioned. So like it or not, being alone is an adjustment that I need to navigate and learn from. And since November is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, I wanted to take just a minute and talk about today's video sponsor, BetterHelp, who I've mentioned before. BetterHelp's mission is to make professional counseling accessible, affordable, convenient, so anyone who struggles with life's challenges can get help anytime, anywhere. Without exception, all of their counselors are licensed, trained, experienced, and accredited psychologists, marriage and family therapists, clinical social workers, and board licensed professional therapists. And their services available worldwide. BetterHelp is not a crisis line, and this isn't self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp will assess your needs and then match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And then you can start communicating within 48 hours. You can log in anytime and send a message to your therapist and you can schedule weekly phone or video sessions all from home so you don't have to deal with uncomfortable offices or weird waiting rooms. BetterHelp is also committed to facilitating you with great therapeutic matches so they make it very easy and free to change therapists if that's what you feel like you need. BetterHelp is also more affordable than traditional therapy and financial aid is available. So look, I want you to start living a happier life because that's what I want for myself. So if you're ready to join the over 1 million people that are already taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional, click on that first link down in the description to betterhelp.com slash fashion. That's betterhelp.com slash fashion and get 10% off your first month. Thank you BetterHelp for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. So listen, please also understand that from your perspective, my content really shouldn't change all that much, right? Everything you become accustomed to with this channel will remain relatively the same. And in fact, I might even start making more videos. So what do you guys think about maybe adding a Tuesday video? 
Don't hold me to it, but it's definitely something that I'm considering doing. So I hope you're ready for it if it happens. Another thing worth mentioning is that I'm still in the Temecula area. And I had thought about maybe moving to Arizona or something around Las Vegas, but I just don't know those areas well enough. And then house hunting remotely from another state is very challenging. But also the approval on this house happened pretty quickly, so I jumped on it. And I'd been looking for a couple of weeks and probably saw maybe six or seven houses and I applied to most of them, but the agency on this house was on their communication and everything went through pretty fast, a lot faster than I even expected. I was thinking I'd probably have to wait until maybe December because the rental inventory is so low around here and also very expensive. But I think I did pretty good on this place and I'm very happy it's a single story without stairs and I don't have some big house behind me looking into my backyard. So if you're interested, let's take a quick tour. All right, so this is the main living area uh, where I was just filming right over there and turn around, this is the front door that comes in. I've got a nice big window, lots of light. Obviously, I have to do a ton of work. So this is sort of what it looks like now. And then maybe in the future, I'll make some sort of update videos as things change. What do you guys think of the background? Let me know. It's very echoey in here. I do have a uh, blackout uh, curtain set coming for over there. And I do need to, to do more with some sound deadening to make it not so echoey. Anyway, oh, and I've got a massive six foot by four foot wall art coming for that wall and also in the bedroom. Uh, we'll show that in just a second. Moving on into the living area, we've got a fireplace, a couple ceiling fans. They left me a TV mount and I've got the kitchen. It's not bad, it's kind of white and gray. The appliances came with the place, which is amazing, which means the fridge, washer and dryer came with it, which is great. And I got a question. So I got some bar stools and I got some more bar stools. So which bar stools do I keep? I kind of like these blue leather mid-century modern ones, but then I've also got these nail head ones. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think. Which bar stools do I keep? We've got a nice private backyard, which is kind of cool. I do have kind of a busy road back there, but I don't have a giant two-story house peering into my backyard, which I love. It's pretty private back here. Anyway, this is what I've got. I still need a lot of things for this room, as you can tell, but you can't do it all at once. All right, let's keep moving. Let's go down the hallway. Uh, what do we got? Storage over here, which I like. It's cool. I just wish there was an outlet. I can't plug anything in over here. Uh, but on this way, we've got laundry over here. We've got a garage over here. And this is my office. So far, so good. There's still a lot of organizi organ organization. Oh, my God. There's lots of organizing I still need to do. <laughs> but this is basically what I've got running at the moment. There is a long, long list of things I need to do and organized. We've got a secondary bathroom in here, which is just fine. This room is sort of gonna be the catch-all. This is gonna be, I think, just general storage. I um, Upcoming video projects will sort of be stored in here. I have a lot of shoes and boots and jackets and things like that. I need to get some racks. The closets are getting full already. Anyway, there's still a lot to do. But then getting into the master, this is where I've been spending most of my efforts and energy getting this room dialed in. Everything is brand new. Carpets, bed, dressers, everything is brand new. And I went with contrasting furniture. What do you guys think? It's design. It's design. Come on, appreciate the design. I got a cow king bed. Um, I might need to get a bigger comforter. This comforter just seems to be a little bit too small. I don't know, just more stuff. I've got the TV set up. I've, I kind of splurged on this massive mirror. And I just put this chair in the other day. But I want to put something behind it. I don't know if I put like a big green plant or like a corner lamp, like a tripod, three-legged wooden brass sort of lamp. I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure all that stuff out. Uh, master bath, very cool. I'm going to do a video in here pretty soon so I still need to outfit it with some decor items for the tub maybe the counter I'm not exactly sure but anyway this is the master let me get the lights on so you can see a little bit better we've got the toilet area and we've got the closet 
yeah, I know I still have a lot to do. Anyway, this is kind of what I'm running with at the moment. I've got another mirror here on the door. Anyway, anyway, this is what we've got. Yeah, what do you guys, uh, what, what do we think? <laughs> All right, I think I'll go ahead and wrap up the video right here. But listen, before you go, please take just a second and hit that like button because it really does help out the channel and I need all the help I can get right now. And I know there's probably gonna be some questions, so I'll try to do my best to answer all your questions down in the comments. And as always, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you all in the next one.